Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today is going to be a extinction information video. Um, PlayStation today got the update, well not today at the time of uploading this, but yesterday at the time of uploading this. Um, there have been new teeth upgrades and new prestiges as you can see, I believe I'm 21st prestige, which is, which is pretty awesome for me. Um, uh, yeah, but let's get right into this. I'm going to show you guys what the teeth upgrades are. So these are non-DLC ones, more cash, electric knife, sniper data, and toughness. So I'm going to tell you guys what they do. So more cash is you start with an extra $1,000, which you would rather, you usually start out with $500 and then you start with an extra 1,000. So you have 1,500. If you want to buy armor right off the bat, a grenade turret, something like that, this is the way to go. I mean, I wouldn't really buy this unless I had a lot of extra teeth and I really didn't have the DLC as an option. But uh, yeah, this is not really useful, but let's get on to the useful ones. Electric knife. Electrically charges the knife so that a successful melee will arc electricity to nearby cryptids, stunning them. The electric knife has a recharge time of 4 seconds. So, pretty much you knife in a uh, cryptid and it gets knocked on its ass because you got, it's like shooting them with shock ammo. Um, and what it'll do is it'll shock any aliens within a certain radius, I believe. I haven't used this yet, I haven't seen any gameplay of it, so that's what I'm just assuming by the description. Sniper Deadeye costs 40 teeth, and this one costs 30. Um, sniper Rifle hits are always critical, and kills will earn more cash, so pretty much it's like the Deadeye perk in multiplayer, but there is gonna it's going to be every shot. It's not going to be random, which is pretty good. I wouldn't buy this because I don't use snipers. I don't know anybody that does, but if you're a sniper person in Extinction, hey, just go for this one. Toughness. It costs 25 teeth, and you flinch less when taking damage. This is one I'm going for at the moment because the DLC is not out for PlayStation. This is amazing. You get shot at by a gargoyle. You're trying to shoot him, but you just can't because he's shooting you with his butt plug things. I don't know what they are, but um, yeah, and you can't hit him. So this is great. You're getting an accuracy challenge, and you want to hit every shot at first, or you just want to get the first shot, but you keep getting flinched by aliens that are hitting you. This is this is a good one. I like this one. It's really awesome. Uh, I don't buy any of these because these are. The older ones that came with Mayday, but uh, yeah, pickle, pistol arc attachment. We're getting on to the DLC ones. Replaces the muzzle brake on your upgraded pistol with the arc attachment. So if you guys don't know what the arc attachment was, it was introduced with Awakening, and it is a attachment that you put on the barrel of your gun. It replaces a suppressor or a muzzle brake. I don't think you can get a suppressor, um, but it, it uh, replaces a muzzle brake with um, the arc that you get on your pistol. The pistol, if you upgrade it plus one, you get an instant muzzle break, which is pretty cool, but the arc is much better. Class upgrade frequency boost. So if you guys don't know what the class upgrades are, they are these things here. They are special abilities that come with your class right here. I put the medic one on always. But um, yeah, I don't know, it just makes, because between uses there is a cooldown time and this lessens the cooldown time between uses of the class upgrades which is pretty cool i don't usually find the need to use it between because usually when i use it i don't need to use it for a while and it's already charged so yeah this one's kind of useless in my opinion vulture extended duration extends the duration of the vulture and increases the frequency of the plus four vulture firing incendiary rockets so this one is all right only if you're on vulture and you're a hardcore vulture fan for some reason i don't know i prefer like sentry gun or ims or something but uh, this extends the duration of it, starting from plus one, and the incendiary rockets when you get at plus four, it'll uh, increase the frequency, so instead of randomly, it'll be on a set time that's much quicker than it was before. Master Scavenger. Scavenger unique items such as extended eggs, which is something we've always wanted in Extinction, something I've always wanted, I don't know about you guys, but it's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, the arc attachment, which is uh, what is the same thing as the, it's the same thing that goes on the pistol. Um, it's an extended to your barrel. It's pretty awesome. You can scavenge it. You can give it to teammates and all that stuff. So yeah, it's awesome. As well as more powerful hypno knives and flares. So I'm guessing the hypno knives. You can hypno knife a mammoth with the upgraded um, hypno knife and the gargoyles because they're the things you haven't done before. I don't know if there's any special new aliens. I don't think you can do an ancestor and exodus, but you know what? It's worth a shot. And uh, flares attracts everything except for boss zombie aliens i'm used to zombies sorry uh boss aliens like uh ancestors the um kraken um the breeder and all that stuff i don't know about the breeder that'd be pretty cool if you can attract the breeder but uh cryptid slayer ammo the special ammo has a combined firepower of all the existing ammo types so um pretty much this one is the incendiary ammo explosive ammo armor piercing ammo and the shock ammo which is pretty awesome. I mean, that sounds really overpowered because you're going to burn them. You're going to go right through their armor. You're going to do explosive damage to any aliens around the alien that you just shot. And yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. 
Uh, arcing stun ammo. Stun ammo will arc electricity from one cryptid to another in close proximity. The amount of times it arcs is dependent on the upgrade level of the player's stun ammo. So this one pretty much is it's pretty awesome. Um, I, I believe it goes with the Cryptid Slayer ammo. I watched a YouTuber and he used this and this together and it's pretty awesome. It takes everything from the Cryptid Slayer ammo, so all the ammo types and it arcs it to the other cryptids, but if you only have the arcing stun ammo, it'll only uh, stun aliens like a Wonderwaft from zombies, if you guys didn't know. Um, it does uh, collateral damage, but it attracts between aliens, which is pretty cool. And the last and final a double class upgrade, this one is worth a thousand teeth. It's the only one I know out of all of them. I don't, I don't know, I think these ones are like 500 and 200, but they're some ridiculous price like that. So, uh, double class. Choose any two classes with this upgrade. So, one of these, you can have, like, Medic and Engineer. You can have Medic and Toughness, Medic and Weapon Specialist, Weapon Specialist and Engineer. Whatever you like, you can have it with this upgrade because this one's a thousand teeth. I really personally don't think it's worth it because I don't usually find a need to run two classes. I always have teammates that run it for me. I always don't... I can escape with one class. I mean, unless you're pretty bad, you can't escape with, like, one class. Which is, um, not really worth it. I'd say that's worth more like 100 teeth or something, because that's really not that overpowered. So yeah, guys, I'm going to see you guys in multiplayer. I'm going to be covering the orange hit markers that were released with the update today, and a little bit of MTAR news. See you guys there. Alright guys, welcome back to, um, my video for information for the new update. The, uh, before I cover the orange hit markers, I'm going to be talking about the MTAR buff. I believe there was an MTAR buff, it was a 15% damage upgrade which I heard from Optic Nabeshot in his vlog. I think he's right. I didn't see any patch notes, so I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It does feel a little bit stronger, but I'm not going to be using that in this gameplay. And uh, this is going to be live, so my aim not, might not be as perfect as you assume it would be. But I put 10 bots on. I put uh, the radar on to show you guys the orange hit marker. The orange hit marker only shows up when you get the sh killing shot. So let's say you knife someone. It's orange. Okay. Did I put these guys on like veteran? So like killing everything. No, I didn't. That guy pre-fired me. So, what I'm saying before is, see, it's like orange wants to kill them, like that. It's pretty awesome. I I think it's a big, big, big deal. It's really awesome. It's really cool. I really find it uh, helps me when I should stop shooting. As soon as I see the orange, it's just a trigger to stop. It saves me ammo. It saves me time. And if you guys want to know a little bit more, um, I did reset my stats. On multiplayer because they did release that option as well that is something that they added in the game as well reset stats I didn't have that before you guys didn't notice I was master prestige so now I am at the time of making this I'm level 14 with a four point something KD because I sweated really hard when I first got it when I first did um, the reset stats thing but yeah thank you guys for watching please leave a like subscribe and comment about today's video tomorrow is gonna be something special i gonna be putting a lot of time and effort into that so stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow peace Shh. <laughs>